Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama and welcome to this week's Pack With Me. This week I'm gonna be moving out of my Jujube B Light and into something a little different. I am actually gonna be using my Michael Kors Tote. I have a lot of things I have to do this week related to the closing on my new home. I have to go to the bank, I have to meet with closing attorneys and like all these other things and I just thought I'd like to have a bag that works as a diaper bag but looks on the outside more like just a regular handbag. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I know this bag looks a little bit frumpy at the moment, but it is gonna fill out once I get everything in there. The reason why I wanna use this bag is that it is definitely not a diaper bag, but it has lots of features in it that are diaper bag friendly. For example, it does have a messenger strap as well as tote straps, so it's a lot like the B Classy or the Lily Jade, which I love. It has a long zipper pocket in the back with a nice deep kind of pocket there, two little pockets here in the back, a full zipper in the middle, and this is a very spacious area here, and then one extra little pocket here in the front. So it doesn't have everything that I like for a diaper bag to have, but it's pretty close. And the benefit of this is that I can carry this and people recognize this as a handbag brand and not a diaper bag brand. I decided to go with stuff from the Nautical line just because I think it's gonna look really pretty with this bag. These are super summery prints and I'm so excited that the warm weather is finally starting to be here. And the gold hardware matches the gold on this bag, which I super duper love. So I'm gonna be using a quick in the Navigator print as my diapering quick. You guys know how I pack this every week, so I'm really not gonna narrate through this because you know exactly what I put in here. Instead, I'm gonna tell you guys a little story. So the reason why I have to make so many trips uh, this week to the bank and things like that, well, one of the reasons why I do, is because for the second time now, I was given the wrong name of our like builder of our house to put on the check for our earnest money. So basically earnest money, if you've never bought a house before, is just money that you put down to show that you're serious and that you are able to cover all of the closing costs and everything. So we overnighted uh, the check to them so that they would have it and know we're serious and we could you know, make sure we get our house. And they came back and said, oh, mm, that's got the wrong name of our builder on it. Sorry, we, we gave you the wrong name. So we start all over, get a new one done. So I sent that off and then they tell us once again, we gave you the wrong name. So I don't really know how, like if I were to tell someone, write a check out to me and <laughs> they wrote a check and they mailed it and I got it and I was like, oops, I gave you the wrong name. Like this would never fly. So I don't understand how a business is able to keep getting their name wrong, but whatever. So that's why I'm gonna be making more trips to the bank this week on top of all the other ones that I already have. Next, I think I'm going to use a medium set piece in the Admiral print for my son's eating stuff. I don't plan on eating out much this week because um, with the mortgage loan still going through, I am on a no spend and uh, I just don't think it's wise to be spending money on eating out when we have plenty of good food at home. So I'm really just putting stuff in here that I would need if my son got hangry while we were out and I just really, really needed to stop and feed him something fast. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to feed him at home where the paid for food is. So I guess you guys have seen that there is a Lily Jade sale right now. Of course, right in the middle of my no spend. So that is a real bummer for me. But things like this teach us discipline, I guess. Do I like that? I don't know if I like that. Maybe I should. Mm, no, I'm gonna leave it up for now and then maybe I'll change it later if it's not working. Next, I'm going to put my custom case in here with my wet ones in it. I like keeping these for myself just to kind of clean surfaces for me. And also like my hands have been super dry lately and I've been putting a lot of lotion on them. And I love using these to wipe down my steering wheel so that it doesn't get all that like that crusty goopy stuff that happens when you use lotion and then touch your steering wheel. So I'm gonna put that right there. Next, I really wanna use this pouch. It's one of my favorites. Again, it was made from a, a customs seamstress 
but I never really know what to put in here, so I think this week I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm going to put my son's Neat Cheeks in there because my other pack is getting a little empty, as well as his Beanie. So I think technically I could have put these in that medium set piece, but I really wanted to use this extra piece. The next thing that I'm putting in here is actually something that I've pre-packed, and this is my Itsy Ritzy snack bags. I just have snacks for me and my son in here. Um, for me, I have pretzels and carrots, and obviously I repack this every night. So I pack this up for myself, and usually I end up eating all of whatever's in here while I'm out and about. Even if it's a short trip, I'm just like, I packed it, so I have to eat it. Um, and then for my son, I have just packed little things that he likes. Some yogurt-covered raisins, he's obsessed with those. One of these little beech nut quinoa bars, which he really likes. And then um, some little string cheese in there. I don't know what it is about the men and my family, but they are obsessed with cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna leave those right there. They don't particularly match with the Admiral print, but the Admiral is such a summery print and this has such a summery feel to it, I just think it, it works. The only bummer about this bag is that there's no bottle pocket whatsoever, but the way I've packed this up has kind of left me with a nice little space right here, so I'm gonna see if my sippy cup fits in there. I know that it doesn't fit in any of these little interior pockets because I tried earlier. Yeah, I think that'll work. That's actually not bad. So there's how we are so far. I like how the pouches have really created a nice kind of structure in here and having this kind of middle zipper compartment here really creates a nice divide and helps things stay where they belong, I think. Next, I'm going to use a small set piece for teething needs for my son. So first, I'm gonna put his Toki Doki Itsy Ritzy teething necklace in there. He loves this thing, you guys, and I know I've shown you lots of different teething necklaces, but what I think that is so great about this one that he likes is that it's a really rubbery, kind of flexible material, and I think it just feels really good on his gums. And I'll be honest with you, I bit down on this, and it even felt good on my teeth. <laughs> So, I don't know, I think it's just satisfying to him. He loves chewing on this, so I wanna make sure that's the one I have with me this week. And I'm also going to pack this little teething pacifier. This is pretty cool because it's for when your baby is teething on those back teeth. So this actually goes inside of their mouth and these little pieces go all the way back to where those back teeth are coming in and can provide some relief that a normal passy or even a teething necklace can't really provide. So I'm gonna make sure I have that with me every day this week because you guys know when your baby is teething, you gotta make them happy fast when you're out. And it looks like this pocket here is gonna be the perfect size for that. A Little bit of a tight squeeze with that quick, but it works. Next, I'm using another small set piece, um, and this is gonna be my wallet this week. So I'm just gonna be using a Be Charged for my wallet. I haven't moved my credit cards over yet, but I'm gonna do that after I film. Gonna toss some lipstick in there, and a few hair ties, and I think that's gonna be about it. Traveling light this week. And hopefully this pocket is the same size as the other one, and I can get another small set piece in there. There we go, awesome. I'm using a coin purse in the Queen of the Jungle print as just a little medical bag that has my son's Tylenol and a syringe in it. I'm just making sure I don't go anywhere without that while he's teething so badly. I'm gonna toss a little cosmetic mirror in there for myself. And I think that's about all I'm gonna fit. That's a huge pocket. I hate making it go to waste without putting more stuff in there, but I've utilized so much of this part of the bag that I think that expanding this is just gonna make it too bulky, so I'm going to leave it at that. Now I'm just going to button this part so that it stays nice and compact and shut. All right, now I've just gotta jazz up the outside of this bag. I'm going to start by connecting a passy pod in the first mate print and I'm gonna slip it through this D-ring over here. Next to that, I'm going to clip on my absolute favorite pocket back holder. How cute is that? It goes perfect with Admiral, and it's even got gold hardware on it. It's like it was made to go with the Admiral and First Mate print. And I'm just gonna clip it on this D-ring as well, like so. Next, I am putting the short strap from my Commodore B-set on my keys. I know I show you guys this all the time, but in case you're new, 
This is my favorite trick to do with my keys because this way I can really quickly put this over my elbow and go hands free while still carrying my keys if I want to. And what I'm actually going to be doing is clipping these to the front of my purse with my clip -a clip This is the clip -a. If you haven't heard of it, this is a hook for hanging up your bag. It comes in silver, gold, and like a brushed kind of chrome color. This one can hold up to 33 pounds, so it is like a monster. It can hold up even the most heavily packed bags, and I love it. So I'm just going to hook my keys onto the clip -a like that, and then hook the clip -a through the tote handle. All right, you guys, that was this week's pack with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that you're probably coming to this channel looking for Jujube, and I gave you something a little bit different this week, but I do kind of like showing you that you can use regular handbags as diaper bags if you get creative with what you put on the inside. If you're new here and you like this content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel by clicking this button right here. That's the best way for you to stay up to speed on everything that I'm putting out on this channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!